Hello and welcome back to the Elevate channel. My name is Soggy FPS and I'm going to give you my favorite 25 tips and tricks. We'll also have the timestamps in the description in case you need to go back for any information. First things first, I'm going to show you guys how to walk through barricades without destroying them. If you hit a double barricade like this, what you can do is you can slip right past. Typically whenever I do this, I always spawn peak ruins. On the other hand, if you are leaving ruins, the barricade still looks closed, so typically you will look elsewhere until this guy swings you. Same thing applies for a single barricade. If you hit a single barricade the exact same way, you can also slip through. This is where I always do my up red inside strat, where I kill 5 people going up red stairs. What I'm about to show you is a spot that is currently banned from competitive play. Someone can kill you from gym bed if you're hopping through this window. The way you get on the spot is you climb on top of the bed and you have to sprint towards the window and crouch as soon as you get on top of it. It'll have you sit on the window and you can shoot anyone that's in server. If you're attacking second floor on canal, did you know that you can throw your drone right up here to see in the site? What I do is I line up with this hose right over here and throw it on this section of the roof and it gets there every time. Did you know that this ceiling is completely destructible? If you want to get an early kill on the pillar player, what you can do is you can throw your nade right over here, sledge the floor, and it's going to land right on top of him. Did you know on most floors you can bury the electric claw? So if you shoot part of the floor and not the floor under, what you can do is you can throw it in between, and no one can see it from above. Did you know if you spawn operator's ability, it'll show it on the top right for the rest of your team? Also, if you're playing IQ, you can take advantage of this by spotting everything through the wall. You can even find sight using her scanner. Here's what that looks like in-game. I have bandits on the wall this time instead of a Cade. Well, that's good news. Do you want me to go below them? Yeah, you know where to nade it. I just spotted their entire Throw team. Here. Okay, wow. Have you ever been killed by your shoulder? This is what it looks like when someone pre-fires you. In Rainbow Six Siege, Peeker's advantage is very strong. If you combine it with pre-firing, no one will be able to see you when you swing. Did you know if you're peeking prep, you can die from third floor? If you destroy the third floor hatch and you destroy this corner of train, you can perfectly kill anyone who's gonna peek prep. Did you know if you're peeking elbow, someone can kill you all the way from the generator outside? For this part, you just have to shoot the fan that's on this chair and then sprint on top of the chair and on the generator and then you can get an angle directly into the person playing elbow. If you have to defend second floor on Oregon, what you can do is you can put an attic shield and get a one way looking straight into trophy. This is what the shield looks like from the opposing end. If you're attacking garage on consulate, what you can do is you can go to the second floor, you can buck the wall on console office through piano and get the stuff that's on the wall. Did you know if you're attacking garage and you're holding the bomb chassis from this angle, someone can kill you from top fireplace? If you shotgun the stairs just like this, you can create that angle and destroy anyone that's on the rock. These are two drone spots that you should be using on border. This first one right over here can see all the square, anyone entering and leaving office, and this one you can rotate around the roof and you can get any information that you need. For example, here you can look in the archives, you can see anyone actually sitting on the bomb chassis, and you can see if there's anything on the chip wall. Did you know a player can nitro you from office if you're sitting top east? If you want to replicate this nitro, what you can do is you can get on top of this printer right over here, crouch, and aim for this little piece of the ceiling right over here. No matter what the site is, if you're attacking on villa, what you can do is you can put your drone right on top of this plant over here, and then onto this little pot, and you can see all of red. If you lose both attacks on Oregon, what's gonna happen is you're gonna play Dining Kitchen, and this wall right over here can be opened no matter what. Even if this wall is electrified, if you're playing Therm, you can come up here in Small Tower, place it on this edge right next to the door, and set it off. This one right here might be a gamble, but if you two hit this window and you listen for the repel, what you can do is you can kill the Heart Breacher early. This is what it looks like from the attacking side. If you're playing garage defense, you can put your evil eye right over here and you can see outside when they have the wall breached. You can even zap people that are under the truck. Let's say you open a wall, this is what you see as an attacker. Let's 
say they try to go for a plant in the smoke. My shoe cams can see through the smoke, so you can still kill them. My first cam you can use is an either second floor site that you're fending, but inside this plant, you can hide your valve cam and it can tell you anything that's going on in landing. My second cam, I put it inside of these vines right over here. With this cam, you can see anything going on under sight, anyone in astro, anything in deer, and you can also see some parts of statuary. My third cam, I put it inside of this plant right over here. What this does, it covers parts of bathroom, it can cover anyone in closet, and you can see parts of bedroom, depending on how well that you throw it. If you're attacking villa and you spawn ruins, you can climb right on top of this and you can get an angle on anyone peeking from study. Here are the two drone spots that I always use on bank. Right over here on this drone hole, it leads all the way to basement. You can see anyone playing elevator, just this entire backside you can completely cover. And for my second drone, I threw it onto the roof and into skylight. If you put it right over here, you can see anyone bottom spiral, trump, going banana, or anyone top elevator. If you make your way towards ATMs and the site is second floor, what you can do is you can shoot your camera right up here and you can kill anything that is back elevator. If you're defending basement, what you can do is you can go up here to solarium, break that hatch down there, and create a line of sight all the way from solarium. Did you know there's a hatch next to strip? What you can do is you can put an echo drone right over here, jump straight up, and spot anyone that's on the roof. This is very useful if you want to figure out what play they are trying to make. Did you know that you can work kitchen floor from laundry? Also, if you're a kitchen hallway, you can clear the guy back of sight. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys made it this far, please comment down your favorite trick. Appreciate you guys watching, and good luck with your games. Bye.